Welcome back to the news desk. Let's continue with our coverage. And Transport Cabinet Secretary Kipchumba Murkomen has officially opened the inaugural Women in Construction Forum 2023 in Nairobi that aims at motivating and funding more women to take up jobs and contracts in construction. The meeting is also targeting to advise the government on educational procurement and construction reform so as to be able to accommodate more women in construction industry as majority of jobs have been taken up by men. The government has stepped into the harness to promote and improve the number of women working in building and construction and the construction industry is undoubtedly growing rapidly and this is an area that we as women need to tap into. We are talking about greening of the construction industry, smart cities. This is a global discussion. The question is where are the women? There's a lot of potential, and my request is that we open up our aspirations and broaden our skills in order for us to leverage. The government is also working to ensure conformity to the 30% access to government procurement opportunities, ACPO, requirement for youth, women, and persons with disability, as an informative, affirmative action targeting the special groups. The unfortunate thing is that when women are bidding for work and there is a women company, there is always this attitude that the most important road, the most stronger road, the most visible road should be given to a man and the ones in the of the job should be given to women. This, this level of uh, discrimination against the women must stop. Let women compete like every other part. We made our professor law. Yes, I think you're very proud. Um, <coughs> please allow me to say this. Our lives are usually under construction. 